Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I had the opportunity to swap a solid state drive in a MacBook Air. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to actually show you how to do it while I was doing it. This is actually a MacBook Air 11 inch, it's mid 2011, and before you start you need to make sure that you back up your current solid state drive either by cloning it or doing a time machine backup. This particular video assumes you're going to do a time machine backup. If you lose any data though, I can't be held responsible and that will be up to you to make sure that your data stays intact. So let's begin. So you can see we have the MacBook 11 inch Air and we'll take this and then what we'll do is we'll flip it over and we'll see that we have some pentalobe screws. Now you will need some pentalobe screwdrivers in order to remove these. I got mine from iFixit and you can see there's quite a few screws on the outside. We'll need to remove all 10 screws so that we can remove the bottom. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Now like I said you will need a pentalobe screwdriver and then these come out pretty hard. They're Loctited in to begin with so it takes a little bit in order to get them to come out. So take your time, don't strip any, and carefully remove them. Once you have them out, pull the bottom off just like this and you'll see the beautifully laid out MacBook Air. Right here is a battery connector we need to undo. Now if you have a spudger it makes this a little easier but you can just pop it up with your fingers really carefully and we'll disconnect the battery. The actual solid state drive is a chip right here and you have to remove it first by removing a Torx screw. So once this Torx screw is removed, we can carefully pry it up a little bit. You don't want to bend it too much and then kind of wiggle it out of the socket. It's a little bit harder than I thought it would be. So you want to take your time, be really careful with it and just slide it out. And there you can see we popped it out. Now this is a 64 gigabyte version. We're replacing it with a 256 gig version. It's very difficult to go in. So you'll see here, uh, you have to push really hard when it's your turn to try this for yourself. Don't be afraid to just take your time and slide it in. I used my finger as a brace against what I was pushing against because it actually is so hard. Uh, I didn't want to break it, so it, it really goes in a lot harder than I expected. Once we have that in, we simply put the Torx screw back in. Once we have the drive in place, we want to put the Torx screw back in and just snug it. Don't torque it down or you'll strip it so put it in nice and gently and then put the bottom back on and put all 10 screws back in. Now you can see we need to boot so we hold command option R and that gives us internet recovery. So the MacBook Air will turn on and then what it will do is boot to a spinning globe and that spinning globe lets us know it's going to try and connect to the internet. And You'll see here's the globe and you give it a little bit and then it will prompt you for your Wi-Fi network. It will search that what's around. You click on your Wi-Fi network. You're going to enter your password and after you enter your password you'll see what it will start to do is go through a download process prior to actually booting. So it took some time, probably 15 minutes, and then eventually what you'll get is disk utility and some restore options. Now if this is a new drive like I put in, you'll need to go to Disk Utility. Once in Disk Utility, you need to find your drive. They come up here on the left. Click on your drive and then what you'll need to do is click on Erase and then click Erase again. It will prompt you and warn you. You click Confirm and it will erase the solid state drive. Now that the solid state drive is prepared, we need to close out of Disk Utility and go back to our Time Machine Backup. So we'll close out of this and we'll click on Restore from Time Machine Backup. Click Continue. We'll click Continue again and select our attached drive. I have a USB drive attached. Select our backup. Select our destination drive. Click Continue. And then it's going to warn you it's going to erase that drive again. And that's pretty much it. It's going to take about, at least in my case, it took about an hour to restore everything. And once it's restored, it will reboot. And when it boots up, it should be just how you left it before. So we'll wait for this to boot up. And then you'll see, this is actually not my particular laptop. Uh, it will boot up. It will be our login options. We want to click on our option to log in. Uh, you can either select your username or guest just to see if it works. Put in your password. And then here you can see that we've actually got 240 gigabytes of storage. The whole process is pretty straightforward. And 
really increases the amount of space you have in a MacBook. In this case, this was a 64 gigabyte version, so we've more than tripled our storage. I'll leave links as to where the solid state drive was purchased and also the toolkit in the description below. If you have any comments or questions, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.